Hello everyone, it is Lucy here and I am back with another video. In today's video, we are doing another part of our Planet Zoo. Um, so in the steam sale, I ended up getting the Southeast Asia pack and then I also got the Africa pack. I think I only got the Africa pack because of the African penguins that were in there. So um, yeah, that's why I got that pack. Uh, even though we do already have a penguin habitat, I think it would be kind of fun to create another one. And it's like they're smaller penguins and they're just really cute. Um, the uh, penguins that came with the Arctic pack are a little bit bigger. They're the king penguins. Um, and I think that the um, African penguins are just a little bit smaller, um, but they're just so cute. And I think that's basically the only reason why I got that pack, honestly. Um, but yeah, the Southeast Asia pack, I'm actually really excited that I went with that um, because that actually comes with eight new animals. Um, so there's like, a, I think a couple exhibit animals and then the rest are, um, you know, regular animals and the sun bear came with it. And then the clouded leopard uh, came with it. So that's really cool that we get two pretty good size animals because usually the DLC packs come with like one good size animal and then maybe some smaller ones and then like one exhibit animal. Um, so it's kind of cool that it came with all of those. So yeah, you guys, so here is our zoo and then our exhibit is kind of struggling. There is, oh no, okay, they got taken care of. Okay, cool. Um, cause there was an exhibit animal that was just kind of struggling. Um, but we do have some habitat barriers that need to be fixed. We also have some mechanic research that is done. So we have to clear that out. Um, water treatment needs repair. Okay. Okay. So all the mechanics are doing good, um, on their research and we'll just get somebody to fix that as well. Uh, and then I'm going to call mechanic on this one just in case. Uh, what is this one again? Oh, I think this is the red pandas. Yeah. Okay. Expecting offspring. Okay, great. And then the Bengal tiger is actually about to mature. Uh, so let's go over there because I just want to make sure that we are here for when it matures so that way there there's no fighting that happens afterwards. So let's go ahead and just peek in on them and just make sure that um, once it matures we can kind of put it to the trading center and see what we want to do from there because I think we have a Bengal tiger hanging out in there. Um, so we can always like leave this one hanging out in there so that way there we can make a new exhibit or make a new habitat of the you know next generation of tigers so where is it because the bengal tigers are pretty expensive in conservation points uh yeah it's a male and i think i got a female just hanging out in the trading center yeah so we will wait we'll just keep them in the uh, trading center for right now once they mature uh, and then that way there, once the other tigers are no longer with us, which is sad, um, cause I am really sad about this one. When she passes away, it's going to be really, really sad for me. Um, cause she is my white tiger and she was basically the reason why I wanted to get, um, the Bengal tigers cause I didn't realize that they had, um, I didn't realize that there was such a thing as like the Bengal white tigers in the game, which was kind of fun that that's actually a thing. <laughs> so Oh my gosh, they're going to age soon. I mean, we could use the conservation points and everything, but I think I want to keep him until these ones pass away because it does seem like a long time before they're probably going to pass, but you just never know. And I just don't want to be without conservation points and have this habitat empty. So they won't lose anything by being in the trading post. They'll be fine. Uh, and they're going to get plenty of love and care. So we'll just pretend that, you know, we, you know, just got them or something, or we sent them to a place and then brought them back or something. I don't know. We'll just pretend, <laughs> but let me go ahead and skip ahead until the morning. And then once, Oh, okay. So he has matured. So we will take him and put him to the trade center. Uh, that way there, there's no fighting that happens. And then if she becomes pregnant again, we can always um, release him to the wild or something. Uh, but I don't know if she will or not. So we'll see. But I'm going to skip ahead till the morning and um, I'll be back with you guys when it's a little bit brighter in our zoo. Oh, look at you guys. So it is the morning in our zoo and actually probably more like the afternoon. Um, but we do have a koala that is going to be maturing. Oh no, we do have some damaged barriers. 
uh, and then water treatment and water treatment that needs to be taken care of. Okay, so we get those taken care of, uh, but let's go back to our koala habitat over here. And actually, you guys, I think putting in the restaurant has actually saved our zoo a little bit more because they can eat and they can have fun, um, but they're also not littering. I think this having the stalls, they litter a little bit more and they tend to, um, you know, really put trash all through the zoo, but it seems like having the restaurant has really saved our zoo, um, from all of the litter. So, uh, that's awesome, but I don't want these to mate, um, these two. So I think I'm going to move him to the treating center and then we're probably going to just release him into the wild or something, uh, just because I really, or well yeah let's release him to the wild release okay so that way there um you know he can be out in the wild and uh, i think we're just going to kind of leave this as our female little um center because they're a little bit older now and i just feel weird about putting in a male right now for them um so they'll be fine uh and once the you know older females kind of you know pass away then we can think about it but um cleanliness okay let's do keeper requested for they're always having problems is there like a lot of them there or something or is it just one i feel like they're always having problems i don't understand <laughs> Okay, animal is thirsty. Okay, keeper requested. And then animal is hungry, so we'll do keeper requested. What are we doing on staff here? Because I feel like, um, okay, we have quite a bit of keepers. Okay, and then yeah, we did, oh, did I put the exhibits into a zone? I wonder if I didn't. Maybe that's the issue. Are they not in a zone? Um, let me check. Because I know I put in zones uh, because we're having issues. Let's see. Edit work zone one. Okay. What about work zone two? Okay. Yeah, they are in a zone. Okay, cool. All right. Because I can't remember if I did. Um, I always forget. There's some buildings I forget. And I probably did forget. But I was focused on these ones. So if there was ones that are red, I'll probably catch that when I play it back. And then I'll fix it. Um, but yeah. So we do have these in a zone, so they should get taken care of. Okay, cool. They are there right now. And then I'm just so in love with this little walk through koala habitat. I am so happy with it uh, because now that we have the restaurant, like I was saying, the guests are not littering, which is great. And it's just really been helpful because I remember when I first put this in and then I put some stalls like over here, um, the guests were just littering nonstop. Uh, so it was just really obnoxious, but this will get fixed pretty soon because the keeper is over there. So they just have to replace their food and then they'll be fine. Uh, the sun bear is doing um, okay. So we can't find accessible yeah. research center. Who is this? What's this one? What's this one? Who is that? <laughs> is that a vet? I don't know. Okay. A vet. All right. Um, can I put a research center over here somewhere? Maybe if I move these walls back. I'm going to move these walls back and then maybe put like a research center over here. Um, so hold on one second. All right, you guys. So I put in this um, research center. So staff are having to queue to use something. Okay, what's that? The mechanic area i'm wondering if i can make a bigger if i can put in a bigger mechanic area oh no animal has escaped oh no okay we'll just capture him um and then the mechanic is gonna come and fix it so hopefully <laughs> hopefully okay emergency capture oh my gosh the baby's coming too <laughs> Okay, well, um, they'll come and fix this hopefully soon. We're going to have to replace this as well. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Emergency capture. Okay. They're going to take them back in and then they'll escape again probably. Um, but that's okay. Uh, I did urgently request a mechanic. Um, so hopefully they are on their way pretty soon. I don't know where the mechanic is for this. Uh, where is they? 
Where are they? Where are they? <laughs> oh, there he is. Okay, he's running. All right, he's running. He's trying to get there. He's slowly getting there. Um, okay, well, that's obnoxious. Okay. Well, hopefully the keeper will come too. The keeper's coming as well to clean. Um, but I probably will box up the animals right now until and put them in the trading center until this is fixed. Uh, so that way they don't escape again. Um, but let's wait till they all get in there and then I'm going to put them in the trade center uh, for right now. And then once it gets fixed, I'll put them back. Okay, you guys, so I ended up fixing that um, black and white ruffed lemur habitat. So it's all good now. Um, the animals were taken out just so that way there they didn't escape, but they're back in now um, or they're heading back there now. Uh, and then we just have quite a few that had like um, disease risk and some damaged barriers. So I took care of those. Uh, and yeah, we're all good there. And then, um, in here we seem to be doing good. I just wanted to check on the kangaroos cause I haven't checked on them in a while. This is another walkthrough habitat, which I really, really love. Um, and they can kind of come in and walk through and, you know, take a look at the kangaroos in their natural habitat. I really love this part of the park. I love that we can do like walkthrough habitats, which is really amazing. Uh, let's just make sure that we do have some kangaroos in here. Okay. Yeah, we do. Okay. They're hungry. Okay. Well, what I can do is I can have a keeper just come and check, uh, and see if they need any food or anything like that. Um, and then what I might do also is call mechanic, call a mechanic. So that way there, uh, we don't get into like damaged barrier, like status. Uh, so this one needs repair too. I think I may need to get some more, um, some more mechanics just because I feel like we are just breaking down a lot. <laughs> so let's look to see how many mechanics we actually have. Uh, I mean, we could go with a few more. So, um, yeah, maybe like a couple. So that way there, there's two per zone, uh, which will be good. Okay. So that way there, there's two per zone. Uh, and, uh, that will be really good. So I'm going to put this one in zone two and this one in zone three. So that way there, the mechanics aren't super overwhelmed uh, and it might wait, might lighten their workload a little bit more and then things will get fixed a little bit faster. Uh, habitat has damaged barriers. Okay. Mechanic is requested. Um, so yeah, so that way there, I feel like that's a little bit better. Uh, and then what's here? Oh, okay. That's part of the uh, restaurant. Okay. I guess that's kind of cool. All right. It is getting a little bit backed up at the restaurant. So I may have to put another one in somewhere. Uh, I want to kind of put it a little bit further away from that one right there. So maybe kind of over here in this area, I might put one, um, that will be probably just off camera. I'll just place one in, or maybe with a habitat that we build, I'll place one in. Um, and you can kind of see how that works, but I kind of want to just go with the same layout or maybe I'll look on the workshop, uh, in steam and just see if there's any other ones that kind of grab my eye, um, and grab my attention. So we'll see, but Okay, we have a mechanic here we need, and we need a mechanic here. I think it's gonna be a lot better, and I think it's gonna be a lot easier now because we have two mechanics per zone, which I didn't realize that we didn't have that. Um, I think I wanted to see how overwhelming it was, and it was getting kind of overwhelming. I think now having two mechanics per zone is gonna be a lot better and a lot easier. Uh, so that's gonna make my job a lot easier and their job a lot easier. Uh, so that will be really good. Uh, broken. Oh no. Dangerous animal has escaped. Okay. Capture. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see. Wait just a second. Just a second. Before this one goes, I'm going to move them to the trading center. Uh, and then once they put that one back in, I will probably move that to the trading center as well. Um, just so that way there, we don't have any issues. Uh, and hopefully a mechanic will come. I didn't even see this one was breaking down. Uh, where is this one? Okay, let's send it to the trading center so it doesn't escape. And then I'm just gonna keep an eye on this one over here and just make sure that it doesn't escape. But here, here they come. So hopefully they're gonna come fix this one because they are part of this zone. So 
Um, I think I want to actually go on the Animal Trading Center and just see what we can do. I kind of want to see if they have any of the new species. Uh, let's see, do they have a clouded leopard? Oh, they have some, but they're really expensive in conservation points. What about the African penguin? What about them? Oh, those are cute. Okay. Well, I'm not sure if I want to do another penguin right now. And that's kind of cool that they are just, um, you can get them with money. Uh, what else do I want to do? I kind of want to do another like snowy habitat. Uh, let's see. They have like a red deer. What's that one? A polar bear. <laughs> What's that one? Oh, those are cute. Oh my gosh, those are adorable. Oh, but they're really expensive in conservation points. Those are so cute though. Uh, let's see. What about the Finnick Fox? Oh, this still has the reindeer in it. Um, not the reindeer, but the, I think there is an actual reindeer though. What the reindeers are. Um, those might be fun to have because those are a warm, uh, cold weather animal as well. Oh, that one's a lot of conservation points. Okay. I'm not paying attention to these. Okay. All right. Water treatment requires repair. Water treatment requires repair. Did this one get repaired yet or not? Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to put the animals back in here so that way they're, um, they're not just hanging out in the trading center. Okay. Uh, all right. That's cool. Okay. So reindeers, um, I might just get the ones that are, I might just do that. And then, uh, this one, uh, maybe this one. Okay. Yeah, I might do that. I might do a reindeer habitat. That would be kind of fun. So I might put it near the snow leopards because it's kind of a cooler weather animal. So maybe kind of in this zone or I can move it back and put it up here somewhere. Um, we'll put the staff buildings over there, but I can move the staff buildings around to this side. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be so excited. I'm going to do some research on some reindeers and then do their habitat. I think that'll be a lot of fun uh, to do, especially with the holidays coming up. It'll be really fun to do a reindeer habitat. Okay. Damaged barriers. Okay, we have that. We've called someone for that. Okay. Oh, and it's raining. I've never seen the rain. It's always usually sunny and bright and sunny and warm and, you know, dry weather. There's not a lot of sun. Uh, I mean, a lot of rain. So that's really good. Okay. All right, you guys, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and end this part right here. In the next part, I will be creating that reindeer habitat. It was a really good check-in part, just making sure all the animals are being taken care of and just making sure everything's going okay. Um, and I think I have a handle on all of the notifications. I just got to keep on top of that. Um, and then I want to do, I think in the next one, I really want to put in a new restaurant. So I'll put that in um, over near our sun bears and the red pandas and the giant pandas does. Um, but yeah, you guys, I'm going to end it here. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and I will talk to you all very soon.